This was one of the busiest ski weekends of the year, and the ski industry has also closely been following a recent decision by the Federal Appeals Court in Denver. It essentially prevents resorts from being liable no matter how a skier or boarder gets injured on the slopes. Jeff Todd on that story tonight. So, Jeff, tell us about the case that got us to this point. Well, Jim, here's what happened. The plaintiff was trying to unload and she got her ski and her boots stuck between the snow and underneath the lift. It was so bad, it actually fractured her femur. Now she sued the resort saying that it's their fault that the lift got caught above her boot. But the Court of Appeals said what you have written on your lift ticket prevents them from being liable. It's a big deal to Colorado skiers and snowboarders and anybody that comes to the skate. Trent Ongert is one of the attorneys who represented Dr. Teresa Briggins, who broke her leg three years ago on the discovery lift at Keystone. She questioned whether or not she got proper instructions to unloading the lift, and we found out uh, during the case that the ski instructor um, had actually been moved up from the daycare center just a few weeks prior to this happening and didn't receive all the training um, on how to be a ski instructor. Dr. Briggins and her attorneys thought that that would guarantee a case of negligence. The Colorado Skier Safety Act says that the ski resort is liable for injury caused by a ski lift, but the courts say waivers prevent injured people from suing the resorts. There's a skier safety act in Colorado. It specifically says uh, what the resorts are liable for and what the skier is liable for. The waivers completely take that out now. They say that you can't hold the skier irresponsible for any type of injury at all. Vail Resorts told us in a statement, Colorado's public policy has routinely enforced agreements that waive or release potential legal claims arising from recreational activities. The Tenth Circuit Court of Appeals reaffirmed this principle, finding that Vail Resort's waiver agreement is valid and enforceable. The case technically could go to the Supreme Court, but that the case could go to the Supreme Court, but that seems unlikely. Any more protection for skiers or snowboarders would likely need to come from the state legislature. Another change that seems unlikely. Reporting live, Jeff Todd covering Colorado first.